Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is your no, 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 no. Uh, news fix. This fix is brought to you by Adorama and their Inspire event that's taking place in New York City from June 18th to the 20th. Their tagline is learn, equip, create, share, though it should have probably had one of those dots in between each one of those things for effect. Now for those of you on a Mac who want to know how to do that, you hold down shift, option, and nine, and you get one of those points. Nonetheless, I'll be doing a free panel on Tuesday, June 18th at 6.30 p.m. You can sign up for mine and others at bit.ly slash fro spire. First up, Panasonic has announced the development of yet another S1 camera. This time around, it's going to be called the Sewahe. Oh, that's S1H. And the H stands for Heisenberg. I am the one who knocks. Actually, Heisenberg, I think the H stands for hybrid, like it doesn't need gas or something. This is a 6K 24P shooting full frame packing camera that's designed to be a cinema camera. Some other announced specs include a similar body design to the S1 and S1R, a moved on off switch. There's a big red record button on top, which I'm not really sure what it does because I'm not sure what a big red record button does on a cinema camera. Right. It can shoot cinema 4K video up to 60 frames per second, but it does crop the video down to Super 35. For those of you who feel that 2959 recording time just isn't enough, you'll be happy to find that you can get unlimited record time. But if you're shooting 6K24, Panasonic has a warning for you. And I quote, when the camera's temperature rises above the specified operation temperatures, the camera may automatically stop video recording to protect it from heat damage. And they also made a special note just for me that because I'm so damn good looking, oh, hot. I might need to wear gloves so it doesn't overheat. I also think this camera might have a built-in fan similar to what we've seen in the Canon XC10 to help with heat disposition. Dissipation, that's right. Dissipation, not disposition. The heat doesn't have disposition, it has dissipation. Disposition. How much will it cost? Around $4,000. When will it be available? Fall. What lenses will it take? Thank you for reminding me, Dan, because I forgot in the preview video to let everybody know that Panasonic is part of the, all right, all together, El Mount That means all L Mount Alliance lenses, past, present, and future, will work so long as they have an L Mount. To check out my full preview video, click in the top right hand corner right now. Next up, is this a leaked photo of what might be the next Sony lens to be announced? No. I beg to differ, Norm. It looks mighty real to me. Sony Alpha Rumors posted a few images of what looks to be a massive water filter. Now, how do I know that it's a water filter, you may be asking? The holes. How else would you explain it? They look like filtration holes. But I'm not sure now because I've never seen a water filter have numbers that say 200 to 600 G O S S. Right, right. It certainly looks like a future Sony lens to me. If this rumor is true and from the looks of this image, it looks to be, Sony is getting ready to release a 200 to 600 millimeter F 5.6 to 6.3 mega zoom G lens. Based on the price of the Sigma 150 to 600 sport lens, which is 1800 bucks, my guess would be that the Sony lens would come in right around 2100 bucks, give or take 100 or two dollars. In the past, I've hated super mega zooms, but since using the Tamron and Sigma mega zooms, I can tell you what they lack in f-stops they make up for in weight and reach and honestly quality. These mega zoom lenses are great for outdoor sports, nature, and spying on your, oh, spying on your neighbors. Dan, you were supposed to take that out. If you're a Sony shooter and you think this lens is real, will you be getting one? And finally, by now you've heard that a little known fruit company, Apple has announced two super exciting yet super expensive products, the all new Mac Pro, as well as a 32 inch 6K HDR display. Now I had the pleasure of being invited out to attend the keynote on Monday in San Jose at WWDC 2019. Now if you're wondering if Apple paid for me to be there or paid my way, the answer is no. 
I covered all the expenses for the trip. In fact, I landed at 5 a.m. in Philly and have had two hours of sleep in the last 36 hours, so hopefully I don't f up the fix. Let's start with the Mac Pro. Yes, it looks like a cheese grater, and honestly, I thought it was a joke until they pulled the sheet off of the computer on the stage. Dan, I thought they were gonna be like, psych, it looks like something else, but no, they legitimately were like, Screw you, haters. It's a cheese grater. Cheese. This completely redesigned Mac Pro is Apple's most customizable as well as fastest computer ever. This computer is built around a stainless steel space frame. That's, that's a space peanut. And is wrapped in an aluminum housing that lifts off to reveal the inner workings of the system. As you can tell, it's highly modular with a ton of room to grow. That's what she said. Unlike the older trash can model. You'll be able to get an Intel Xenon processor with up to 28 cores or as few as eight. Now, if you're RAM hungry, you'll be able to feed this beast up to 1.5 terabytes, as well as up to four terabytes of storage. There's eight internal PCI slots, four double wide slots, and a few half wide slots, not to mention a double wide trailer. Actually, it will make cost more than a double wide trailer. If video cards are your thing and you need more than one, that's not a problem either. There's room for that too. That's what she said. Now I could keep going on with the specs, but I know some of you are dying to know the price. Very nice, how much? $6,000. Yep, 6K is the price of the base level tower that will include an eight core processor, 32 gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD, an AMD Radeon Pro 580 graphics card, and will be available this fall. Now at the time of recording, there were no other configurations available, but you can expect the price to go up, up, and beyond. Probably as high as 40 grand or more. But wait, there's one more thing. A super expensive, but amazingly functional and impressive display. Introducing the all new 32 inch HDR display that none of us will ever own. This 6K 10-bit HDR retina display goes far beyond HDR to what Apple is calling extreme dynamic range or X. X gonna DR. X DR. And uh, X wasn't actually at the show. But all of this technology does come at a price. The monitor alone will cost $5,000. Now I say alone because if you want the stand, it will set you back another grand. I'm sure it's a nice stand, but wouldn't it have been a little less painful to say that the monitor is $6,000, but if you don't need a stand, it will only cost you five? But hey, if you're complaining about the price of these products, you're probably one of those PC commenters who keeps saying, but I can build a PC just as powerful for only $1,500. Cool. Shut up! No one cares what you people think. What do you mean, you people? And by you people, I mean you commenters who keep saying you can build a PC for less. There was actually this really cool moment where I got to explain the new Mac Pro design to my good friend, Tim Apple, and it went a little something like this. Over here, you'll see a handle. That is a very expensive steel handle. Do you like it? Fine, that, that wasn't me, that was actually Johnny Ive. Anyway, to check out my in-depth, almost hands-on preview, click the link down below. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna go to bed. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.